Michelle with Farmhouse Living. Welcome to our channel if it's your first time. So we started this channel um, with mom's old home tour and I think people enjoyed it because it was kind of relatable. It felt like everyone could achieve it and also she's really goofy. She's like the Uncle Cy of the of the crew. So um, we have a store, we're interior designers and we also love to share content that inspires you to create a home that you love. So today we will be touring mom's home, her Christmas decorated home. Um, and she'll also be giving you a tutorial on how to make a table arrangement. So yes. what is your theme this Christmas? Well, it's the same every Christmas and it's just how simply and quickly can I get Christmas out and then, and how early? Because I like to put it up, as you know, in October. October. She's, it's true. She's not a fan of Halloween. No. And so she's... The she, devil's birthday. <laughs> so, so she's ripping out her Christmas tree as soon as possible. Um, just greenery and pine cones and I love woodland animals like deer and things like that. Bring nature in. So it's all nature inspired. Yeah. So the three rooms, or I guess four rooms that we are going to um, take you to tour is her living room, which we're standing in right now, um, breakfast nook, kitchen, and then also her brand new dining room that is also kind of in the entryway area. Um, so yeah, our goal is to help you achieve this type of look if it's what you're going for. So our family room area is where we bring um, most of the Christmas decor because it's where my big tree that I decorate. Um, I have a lot of trees, but they're all just evergreen. But this tree I decorate, and then we do the mantle. So you know, this is where we have most of our Christmas decor. Like I said, I just bring everything in that's green and that brings life, and then I add um, throughout the season. So I start with pumpkins and move into um, you know, pine cones and berries, red berries, lots of pops of red. I like to use just pops of red everywhere. We move into the breakfast nook and I just have fresh flowers and my nativity scene. I found a beautiful spot for it there in my breakfast nook. And then in my kitchen, I pretty much just decorated the island and maybe a couple shelves with a pop of, you know, greenery or, um, like I said, a pine cone. Candles. The dining room, um, it used to actually be an old formal living and dining room space when they did that a number of years ago and I opened it up to make one large dining area. So we just had our friend make a 14 foot farm table and we um, basically we just um, put a few little pieces in our um, hutch and then we made this giant arrangement down the center of the table. And so, you'll see that tutorial. Yeah, so we're about to head over there and teach you how to do that arrangement. Um, yep. We hope that you enjoyed the seeing the house this season. Hey friends, it's Michelle with Farmhouse Living and today we are making a giant table arrangement from a large dough bowl. And so we've collected a few things. We're not exactly sure where we're going with it, but that's the beauty and fun of this. You just be creative and you just get whimsical and you just go for it. We have floral foam. Um, someone named, wrote his name Jake in here. So that was at Walmart, we got the floral foam. And so we're just gonna put this in the bottom. That way when we put our twigs and our florals and stuff in here, we'll have some space for it. And. Um, Earlier we cut a few uh, branches. Andy! I think Andy can help me. Doing it! I'm doing it! You're doing it! Keep going! Mom has never used a power tool. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was easier to cut with the. This is not working out. 
Shirley, do you know how to use power tools? Yes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay all of my greenery as another part of a base just to kind of get a feel for where I want to go with this. And again, we can be really, really fun and creative. And I actually got this just out of my backyard. It's not a big deal. Okay. Now we've laid a base of birch, flower foam, and greenery. And we just want to add our various elements, like pine cones and florals. We just bought these picks, again, from Walmart. And this is just gonna give it some height, these flowers. So, we wanna just do this. And we'll just add them in about three different places so that they'll Give a little bit of color, a pop of color throughout. Throughout our arrangement. Okay. This guy, there we go. Okay. And you can have a lot of fun with this. You can add candles. You can, I mean, like the sky's the limit. Just do what you love and love what you do. And so right now, I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good um, arrangement. And I was going to add candles, but I think I'm liking where we're going without them. But right now, we're just gonna add some pine cones and kind of call it a day. Cause I feel like these candles that I bought I just feel like they might be too much. So you can add them, you can take them out. Like I said, it's just absolutely a free for all when it comes to creating um, beautiful tablescapes that will last all through the season. So this is a really large dough bowl that mom just got for her ginormous new table in her dining room. Um, but this um, tutorial or DIY would work in any size so you could even get a normal bowl um we like the wooden base but um you can yeah. find them on we have some on our website you can also find them at um at, at, home, at home home goods anywhere. Yeah. yeah and so we hope that you loved this tutorial and the home tour the christmas home tour of mom's house we have a lot of really fun um upcoming content so make sure that you subscribe Blim. And um, enjoy. We hope that you have a very wonderful holiday season. Bye. <laughs> okay. Ch say dobles three times. Dobles. 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 Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> now, obviously, this is a very large dobo. <laughs> dobo. Dobo. Dobo.